CustomTacticals.com here, and today the knife I'm looking at is the Spyderco Tenacious, and also the uh, Ambitious, the, the the tiny baby brother. There's there's an in-between size called the Persistence, but uh, I don't have that one, so um, just these three. Super super affordable knives. Um, the Spyderco Tenacious is. Uh, quite possibly the most popular folder that uh, Spyderco has ever made. Um, if you look at the, the Tenacious, the, the number of reviews and, and, and things on, on all the sites out there. I think Amazon alone has like 1,200 reviews of the Tenacious. Um, it's, it's just such a popular knife. Um, it, it's a fantastic size. Um, i got a couple of them here and also got this Wycheck leather, Wycheck. Um, he's from Poland. W i c e k leather sheath. It's a pancake sheath. Um, great sheath here. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I think these are about forty-five bucks or so for the tenacious. The belt goes through here and here, of course. Um, so um, the spark. I mean, I'm reviewing a knife here that probably most people already have or if they don't uh, it's so inexpensive that most people would just grab it anyway but uh, the tenacious is one of the um one of the the first folders that kind of kicked off spider uh, china revolution they uh, they used to only make their bird knives in china and then they started um they started making a whole bunch of other knives there now as well um and the tenacious persistence and the ambitious are, are, are three of the sort of the main lines of knives from China. Um, very well made. Uh, it's got G10 handles, stainless steel liners, liner lock, and the steel is a pretty basic stuff. It's the 8CR13MOV steel. Hmm. Very common steel used in value folders these days. Um, <clears throat> so the blade length on these is, uh, according to Spyderco, is 3.39 inches. Uh, closed length of 4.45 inches and an overall length of 7.76 inches uh, the way the weight of uh, of the tenacious comes in at about 4.1 ounces so it's a pretty hefty knife uh, for the size it's not not lightweight for sure it's got some it's got some weight to it it feels good though it doesn't feel overly heavy um, it doesn't have the choke uh, the ability to choke up on the front of the knife but it's got a nice little guard here, so you don't, uh, little choil, so you don't, you know, get your finger on the blade. Uh, great handle size. Good Spyderco shape blade, leaf shape. Easy access to the thumb hole for both sides. Uh, pocket clip is chain, uh, reversible as well as tip up, tip down, switchable all four locations. It's available in lots of different uh, configurations. It's all black, including black liners. Um, one thing I do notice about knives made in China is um, the, especially the G10 ones, the G10 doesn't feel the same. The way that they they they, um, they sort of grip the G10 in China is it's a little bit slipperier. Like it doesn't have that heavy grip to it. Like for example if you have like this this G10 here, this is an I think it was a Japanese made Spyderco, yeah. So this Japanese made Spyderco the G10 is just, it's just a little grippier, and it's, it's less grippy on this. Like, I can feel like it's, it's a little, it's not slippery, but, like, it just feels smoother, and it's got a bit of a gloss to it, whereas Japanese and American G10 tends to have a bit more of a matte look to it. And I don't know if that's just because of the way they finish it, or the materials used in the G10 are, are more epoxy, less fiberglass, I don't know what, what, what the reasoning is for it, but... That's one thing I've noticed about knives from China. Well, value knives from China, not like the Re8s or anything like that. But the value knives from China, the, the G10 has sort of a, a slipperier, glossy shine to it. And so, and I, and I don't like it as much as the uh, as, as sort of premium G10, if you want to call it that. Um, but for, for 40 bucks... On one of these guys, and I think these um, ambitious folders about thirty bucks. You can't really complain too much. I mean, this for a forty-dollar folder, it's probably one of the best values out there. Solid folder, um, great Spyderco lines, Spyderco 
uh, legendary Spyderco uh, functionality and, and, and looks. It's, uh, you know, a great knife. It's, the funny thing is the sheath costs more than the knife, but it's nice to have a... Well, it's, it's a very cool sheath. You can slide it in, you know, choose which which holder you feel like, whether oops, if you feel like blue, or if you feel like black that day. Um, but, you know, great sheath. Um, it's white check leather. It's pretty good. Um, they're, and they're on eBay. Um, uh, from Poland, good stuff. Great work. Uh, very, very good pricing too. Like, I mean, considering all this hand stitching on here, probably would take um, I take a few hours at least to do this hand stitching if if you're not uh, super good at it. But this guy do, do, does a great job. Recommend this sheath. So yeah, and uh, just the the this the little ambitious folder here is essentially. Exact same knife, but in a two and a quarter inch blade. So, and then there's the persistence, which is the in between size, 2.75 inch. Don't have one of those, but exactly the same. Same blue G10, same pocket clip locations. This one's mounted in the back, but you can switch it to all of them. Same steel, made in China. Um, I'm not sure who de designed these, if it was uh, probably Sal. Um, doesn't have his signature on it, but um, it's likely to be Sal's designs. So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little review. Um, the Spyderco Ambitious Folder.